welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my nail polish collection and this is inspired by Miss Amy XO. Please go like her channel. I will link it right there. She is awesome. And yeah, so without any further blabbing from me, I'm just going to jump right into this video and enjoy. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys, here is my nail polish rack. I'm just gonna scan through. And then on top of my printer, I have what doesn't fit on there. It's just my little ones. Um, but anyway, let's just go through it. This is inspired by um, Miss Amy XO. I will link her channel. Um, I know I said that in my intro, but I'm repeating myself because that's what I do. Um, but before I went cruelty free, and I still have some that are on here that are not cruelty free brands. Um, but before I went cruelty free, I used to collect these little um, OPI, like that one and that one are like little OPI um, little sets that would come around, come out around Halloween. And they all had little nail decals with them. So um, this one is the So So Scalicious. I'm not entirely sure when these came out, but they're so cute. And like I said, they came with like little nail decals, but the colors of the colors in here are, let's see if it'll focus. High Pumpkin, um, A Rose from the Dead, Morning Glory, and Candlelight. And then I have all of my like top coats, bonders, um, base coats, oils, things like that. So this one, I think this is just a little random one that came with a kit for like nail decals. I'm not entirely sure. This one, oh my goodness, where did this one come from? I think I got this one in um, like either an Ipsy kit or something like that or a FabFitFun. I'm not entirely sure, but it's, an, it's a nail oil. And it says, actually it's a cuticle oil and it is a lavender cuticle oil. So I've used that a couple times. I forget that I have it. Sorry, I'm filming this with my hand. I don't really have a tripod for my phone. And then I've got this Avoplex um, Nail and Cuticle Replenishing Oil. It actually smells really good. It's by the brand OPI. I don't remember if OPI is cruelty free or not, um, but I do have uh, quite a few OPI products, but I don't think their parent company is or something like that. I don't remember, but um, I do have a lot of Orly. Um, there's the matte top coat, and then I have a second dry, and then I've got a bonder, which is the base coat, and then I have another uh, bonder. These are really good because they are rubberized, so it's a it's a base coat, and um, I just I really like that one, uh, that particular base coat out of all the ones I've tried. And then when my natural nails, obviously these aren't my natural nails. When my natural nails, I want them to grow. This is Nail Envy by OPI. This stuff makes my nails grow like crazy, and I just absolutely love it. Again, I don't know if it's cruelty free or not, but. Um, it's a really good product. I have not repurchased it because I do need to do research and see if it is, but like I said, it is super, super good. Um, this one is so cute. It's by um, OPI again. It's called the Spookettes. And this one has, again, four colors. It says, um, he's my boo. Mummy knows best. I only date werewolves and zombody to love. And the zombody to love glows in the dark. So that's pretty darn cute. And um, yeah, so those kind of sit up top and just never get used. <laughs> so moving on to the next row, I have my Orly collection. Um, a lot of these don't have names anymore because they've been rubbed off or they're really old. Um, but this one, let's see, this is Love Each Other. And it's this really, really pretty glittery, iridescent, like pinky purple. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And I don't use it nearly enough. Um, this one is a bright neon orange with like a yellow gold shift inside. Um, let's see, the color is called Ablaze. I'm sorry if you guys can't um, see the names when I flip them over, but I'll try to say what names they are. So this one is a really chunky glitter. I don't use this one that often anymore. I used to do a lot of nail looks and um, like a lot of different like nail art looks. So I had a lot of the glitters and stuff like that. I don't see the name it just yeah so I'll see if I can find a name for it I don't there's no name for that one it's probably pretty old so this one is one of my favorite ones from Orly it is like a blue green purple shift and it has glitter in it and oh, it's not really showing up the green in there and the purple but it's so pretty this one is called Sapphire Luck 
and then this one is a hot pink and I know those two look very similar but that one is more orange this one is more pink um, and I do really like both of them uh, again this one doesn't have a name on it maybe if I peel that off it might have a name I don't know I don't know um, hmm. no name on that one but it's a newer as you can see the bottles have changed like these are the newer ones right here and then these are the older ones so I used to work at Sally Beauty Supply and now that bugs me that that is like because you can see like the little gray stripe around the top. Yeah, I'm weird. Um, yeah, there you go. <sighs> All right, so older ones, new one. These guys, these four right here are definitely not cruelty free. Um, they are Maybelline Color Show. And then this is a MAC Cosmetics one. These are really super pretty. And I just, um, I just purchased them when I decided I was going to go vegan and cruelty free. So I barely used them. Um, but this one is, let's see have a name on it where's the name oh it's on the top <laughs> this one is intense teal and it is a super super pretty color um but again like i said they're not quality free uh this one is just called polka dots and it's black and white little glitter but it's not really glitter it's just like um it's not sparkly glitter or anything like that it's just like almost like confetti on your nails so and this one is called clearly spotted and then this one is another awesome color and it is called ooh, upside down lustrous lime again I would use these for like really bright um, looks for whenever I would um, like make na like nail stuff um, this one I got when I used to be on a bunch of different makeup like trading sites um, I traded and got this one I believe I don't know does Max still make um, polish I don't remember but um anyway this color is really really pretty it's like um a fuchsia with like a orange and then glittery shift and it's called uh something fairy oh it's called bad fairy I don't know if you can see like the orangey shift to it it's really pretty but again I don't really tend to use those so yeah I just have them because I can't really part with things but I probably should so when crackle polish was like the thing um i had a bunch of them i actually had a black one but i think it broke um but these are so pretty this is the opi nail lacquer in um and it's the crackle ones see this is turquoise shatter okay shatter not crackle whatever but it looks like crackle um and then this one is a really pretty silver one let's see the name there is no name on this one no okay there's no name on that one on the bottom uh so i'll have to look that one up but uh this one also no name on it ah sorry no name but it's a pink opi it's really pretty um an opi shatter um and then this red one let's see do you have a name on you no Sorry guys, these don't have names, but I'm pretty sure that you could probably look them up. So this is the only one that has a name on it. So sorry about that. Uh, I know these two have a, na a name on them because I love red and I love um, OPI red. This was like my favorite red for like ever. This is vodka and caviar. I actually, um, it's getting to the point where it's so low down. Um, I need to mix some thinner with it to like clean out the bottle and then I'll be done with it and I'll, I won't repurchase. So um, this one is what I'm wearing on my toes currently. It is, um, what's it called? It's called Got the Blues for Red. It's a blue toned red and it's really, really pretty. So that is my OPI collection there. Moving on. This is, um, China Glaze and I do believe China Glaze is cruelty free. Um, these first four I think are from a Halloween line from a couple of years ago. This color right here, you guys, is so fire. It is so pretty. Um, it's called Cross Iron, Cross Iron 360. Yeah, Cross Iron 360. And it is just this beautiful amber, oh, it's so pretty. I don't wear this nearly enough, but it's kind of a fall color, um, even though I'm Halloween 24 seven. Halloween 24 <laughs> seven. Anyway, back to the polish. Um, but it's it's like one of those ones where you just want to like mix this one with like black on your nails and just oh it's so pretty 
Um, along the same lines is um, this color right here. It's a glitter that has all of the colors of Halloween, I think, in it. So it's like, as you can see, my light is reflecting. It is gorgeous. So it has all these little hollow flecks in it. It's got like purple and green. And um, the color is like an orange base color. It's called Glitter Goblin. I don't think that's gonna focus. Focus, focus. It focus. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, it's not gonna. But anyway, it's called Glitter Goblin. I love the name. I love all the names from China Glaze, but this one, uh, I love this color. Oh, look at the look at the reflex in there. Oh, so pretty. It's like a gray with purple and green reflex. Mmm, so pretty. This one is called Immortal. And I have painted my nails with this multiple, multiple times. Another one I really, really love is this one. Oh, would you look at the color? Oh, that is so pretty. It's called Blurple. Something, yeah, Bizarre Blurple. I love it. But I think, I think these four were in a Halloween line um, a while back. I'm not entirely sure. Along with this one on the end, but it's, yeah. So then this one is kind of like a coral orangey shade. Um, and this color is called Roguish Red, but it doesn't look red to me. It looks very orangey and coral, but yeah. So it's in the red family. So, you know, I'm gonna let it make it. But uh, I don't use this one nearly as much as I thought I would when I bought it. Um, it just kind of sits there. This one is like a Tiffany or Robin's Egg Blue. It needs to be shaken again. Um, I did shake all of these before <laughs> um, because they have been sitting a while. Yeah. Uh, this one, I don't know what happened to it. I think it got like either acetone spilled around it or on it or whatever because I don't even know the color. It's gone on the bottom. Um, but it's either like Robin's Egg Blue or Tiffany Blue or something to that effect. But it's by China Glaze and I'm sure we can look it up. But it's that Robin's Egg Tiffany type blue. And then this one is called Ghoulish Glow. Again from the Halloween. Halloween? Halloween. Yeah. Halloween collection. Um, it's just called Ghoulish Glow and it's a glow in the dark. All right. So that is my China Glaze little section. Moving over. Um, these two right here, I'm not sure. Is Sally Hansen cruelty free? I don't think so. But these are, this gel is what I have on my nails right now. Um, so I have this gel in Blackie O. It's just a gel polish by Sally Hansen. Um, and these are like, you don't have to use them with, um, so they don't require any light. And then this one is one of my favorites. Um, it's called Stilettos and Studs. It's this gorgeous, like, gunmetal, like, taupey, purpley. Oh, I just love it. I love it. I love it. In fact, I love this one so much. I accidentally ended up buying two of them. Um, when I, I bought one and then I didn't realize I had it at home and I saw it out somewhere and it was, I was like clearance or something. And I was like, Ooh, I really like this color and came home and realized I already have that color. <laughs> so as I mentioned, I used to work at Sally Beauty Supply and this is the brand from Sally Beauty Supply called Savvy. And so I have a very, uh, similar shade range for these savvy colors. <laughs> um, this one is called chocolate. Oh, uh, look at that. I believe this is the color I used for my nails for my wedding. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, this one is called chocolate and it is just a really pretty, um, almost bronzy, uh, brown. It's just beautiful. And then we have this one is called Sable Frost and it's like a brown. I think I was buying a lot of these for my wedding because my wedding colors were like black and orange and like this um, chocolate brown color. So I'm not sure if it was this one or if it was this one that I used for my um, toenails for my wedding. I'm not sure if it was that one. I think it was this one. but. Um, I think I ended up buying both of these because I wasn't sure which color I wanted. But anyway, another really pretty color. And it kind of has some little green and um, like gold reflex in there. Love it. And I really like the formula with Sal with uh, Savvy. This one is called Deep Passion. And it is a really pretty red. As you can see inside the bottle, if you can see inside the bottle, um, it's about halfway gone. I have used the mess out of this one. I really, really like this one. Um... This one I haven't used as much, but it's called Bloodstone, and it's a really deep,
deep, very Christmassy. To me, it reminds me of Christmas. In fact, the next one is really Christmassy. But this one's more like a burgundy with like glitter shifts inside of it. And then this one is called Ruby Slippers. I'm pretty sure. Yes, Ruby Slippers. And you can see why. It is beautiful. It is so pretty. It is like just Ruby Slippers. I mean, that's exactly what it looks like. So super pretty color. I don't know if any of these colors are still available at all um, at Sally's, but they are just super, super gorgeous. So this row is my, I know that LA Colors is cruelty free and I bought these, I think from either Dollar General or Dollar Tree. I know I paid about a dollar for each of these. So really inexpensive, cruelty free, and I really like their formula. Um, this first color is a glitter called let's see midnight it is a black with hollow inside oh it's so pretty let's see if you can there we go oh look at that it's so pretty oh it's one of my favorite ones I like to put this over black in fact I might paint that over my uh, nails that I got going on right now so I'm not sure this one is kind of um, just a pale let's see color this one's just called a simply a simply uh, it, won't, it won't focus but anyway it's a very simple just plain nude color <laughs> next we have hot blooded really pretty really pretty red this is kind of more of an orangey red um, I don't think I've actually worn this one I, I actually have a lot that I don't wear um, I think I bought these two together this one and this white one so that I could do like a like a French um, French tip. I think this one is just called Energy Source. And it's just a white, plain white cream. This one is so pretty as well. It is a purple one. It's called Jewel Tone. And it's purple with turquoise and pink. Such a pretty, pretty shift. Right, moving on. This color is called Lost Soul, and it is just a shimmery gray color. Again, I haven't used a lot of these, unfortunately, because I do have a lot. Um, this one is called Glitter Bomb, and it is hollow. It is silver. I think it's silver or it's clear. I'm not sure uh, if the actual polish base itself is clear or glitter. Is it clear or silver? I'm not sure. I think it is clear, um, but it has silver and hollow glitter all inside. And ugh, it is another one that I like to put over black and it's super pretty. All right, over here is simple colors. And I think that they are cruelty free too. And I bought these, I believe at Walmart. And um, this first color is Frenzy. And it kind of reminds me of um, this one a lot. Like they are, they could be sisters for sure. So yeah, if you didn't want to spend the money on the sinful ones, which I think are a little more expensive, the um, LA Colors ones are, I'm pretty sure they're like a buck. But anyway, I think I purchased this one not realizing that I had already purchased that one or vice versa. I don't know which one I bought first. <laughs> Um, this one is so pretty. It's like a purpley, it's called shock and awe. It is a purple blue tone. It's a blue tone purple and it is just so pretty. It's really, really pretty paired with this one. Um, I just love purple and green together. So I'll show you that one last, of course, because I have to go in order, but really, really pretty. This one, I think I've purchased multiple times because look at that color. It is so pretty um, and it is called Rich in Heart and it is just, I love the formula on these as well. It's very creamy. Um, it dries quickly for me. Um, most of the time I'm painting my toenails or I'm painting over like um, false nails. My real nails are not that great so I tend to put on fake nails. So anyway, uh, this color like I said is so pretty and uh, it's like a crimson burgundy. I don't know, I, I'm really bad at this, but uh, really pretty color as you can see. So this is another one that is very close to this one. This one needs to be shaken up, obvious. This one needs to be shaken up, obviously. Um, but again, I think this one is called, put that one up. This one is called Taupe is Chic. And yeah, it's just a plain like 
pinky, um, like a neutral pinky color. And I'm not really big into these kind of colors, as you can see, like my color range. Um, I'm really not big into that. I probably, I probably got it just to do like natural, natural nail type looks. This one, I'm not really a fan of the color. I like pink and all, but it's not really my favorite pink. Um, it's called Out of Bounds, and I don't think I've ever worn it, but in fact, it's pretty brand new. Um, I like more, I'll show you the kind of pink that I like more. Um, that one I think might have come in like a set with I think this one and this one. They're kind of very similar. Um, or I bought them together like that. But this one I have used a bit. This one is called Jolt. And it's a really pretty um, aqua turquoise color. Aqua turquoise. Those are two different colors, Wendy. Um, but anyway, I'm really not good at this describing colors. But um, as you can see, it is a very pretty blue. And then this one, oh, I've used this one quite a bit, as you can see where it sits in the jar. This one I love. This one is called San Francisco. And it's an older one, as you can tell from like the, the sticker on the bottom of that one, as opposed to like this one. Um, so this one I've had a little while and super, super love it. It's very pretty. As you can see the reflex in there, it's got like gold and green reflex. And then the polish itself is kind of like a, a color that reminds me of, um, oh man, who made that color? I forget who made it, but the color was called Toad. Oh man, it was awesome. Um, if I can remember who it is, I'll put it on the screen. But anyway, this is a super, super pretty color. I love that color a lot, obviously. <laughs> And now we're down to um, finger paints, which is another brand you can get at Sally Beauty Supply. The finger paints line is not, it's okay. It's not the best, but um, you know, it has some good colors in there. I did buy a crackle in um, this one, in this particular brand. I love this color. I wish I had just this color um, instead of it being crackle. Let's see, this one is called just Blue Crackle. <laughs> it doesn't really have a special name, but um, but yeah, it is so pretty. I mean, that color is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. I need to actually use that more. Um, the next color is this really pretty purple called... Oh, this one's Crackle too. Okay, so this one is a purple Crackle. Um, I did not realize that. I guess it's missing its little top, obviously. Uh, but this one is Purple Crackle. So another really pretty... So these are my crackles in this. So this one's more of a shimmer. This one looks more of like a matte um, color, not matte, but like a plain, doesn't have any shimmer in it. This one is very shimmery metallic. So cool, I will keep that in mind. Glad that I didn't like grab that to go paint my nails and then realize, whoa, what's going on? Um, <laughs> another neutral type color. Uh, this one is Art History 101. And I really like this color. I don't wear it nearly enough, but again, I have a lot of these like neutrally type color ones and I don't really wear them. This one, I don't have a name on it. It's already come off the bottom, but obviously I've used the mess out of it. Um, I don't remember the name of it. It's very pretty. It's like, um, it's a very pretty summer color. It's like um, pinky coral color. I don't know. I really like that color though. It's really pretty. This one I've used a little bit of, as you can see, and I don't think, yeah, it's everything's rubbed off on this one as well. So I think both of these were bought first, they're older ones, and I've just used the mess out of them. So, but it, it's like a clear glitter with like purple pink reflex inside. This one is Where Art My Love, and it is a pretty pink with purple shift. Again, I don't think I've even used that one. Um, this one is from Wet n Wild, and I don't remember why I bought this orange. I think I needed to, I was doing some kind of project because this one, along with these two, are brand new. Not brand, brand new, but like within the last year or two. Um, this is just orange. <laughs> so it is a fast dry from Wet n Wild. I don't think I've actually used this one, um, but it is really pretty. It's got gold uh, glitter inside, so it's an orange polish with gold glitter and it's really, really pretty. I think I might use it this Halloween. Next, we have some Milani polishes. Uh, this one, again, I think I bought with that, like I was trying to get all these like neon glitter colors. And this one is called Neon Lights, I think. It's kind of rubbed off, but I think it's called Neon Lights. And it is this like bright yellowy green polish with gold glitter inside of it. So it's very bright and uh, very not worn very often, so. <laughs> Uh, the next Milani one, and I believe, Mil I'm pretty sure Milani is cruelty free. 
um, is this really, really pretty color, and I believe this is called Black Cherry. I've had this one a while, and I've hardly ever used it. I really don't know why, because it's a really, really pretty color, but it's another one of those little burgundy colors that I'm so drawn to, but yet uh, don't wear. These two are some of my favorite. Look at those. It's by the brand Piggy Polish, and I'm pretty sure I got them at like either Ulta. Um, I think I got them at Ulta. I'm not entirely sure where they came from, but it's called Piggy Polish, and this one is called Muse, and it is so pretty. It's like a fuchsia with like purple and, and pink glitter. Oh, so, so pretty. And then this one is just this really pretty pink with um, pink glitter, and it's called Pinking of You. <laughs> so cute. Um, but those are super cute. I wish I could get more of them. I don't, like I said, remember where I got them from. I want to say Ulta, but I could be wrong. This one is an NYC color that I don't think I've ever worn, maybe once or twice, but it is this really pretty blue. It just says 243B. So, but this is NYC uh, Nail Glossies is the name of it. So yeah, 243B, I'm, I'm assuming that might be the color. So then these guys look like Butter London, but they're not. They are Jessie's Girl. And um, I don't think I've used these too much, but I know Jessie's Girl Cosmetics is um, cruelty free. So I'm pretty sure. Um, but these are pretty neat. I like the bottles. They do remind me of Butter London, but I don't know who came out with them first. Um, probably Butter London. I don't know. But this one is a really pretty coral. And I'm looking for the name. Hmm. No name. May contain. Made in USA. No name. Sorry about that. But it is a really pretty coral color. Um, definitely a put on your toes when you have a tan color, <laughs> which I never do. So this one is kind of a Barbie pink. And again, it doesn't have a name on it at all. I apologize. I do not know why these do not have names. It's like a Barbie pink. This one is so pretty. Um, this one kind of reminds me of another one I have up there. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, but this one is just like a turquoise color. Again, no name. Um, but it's like a turquoise. Like It reminds me of peacock. That's the color I'm looking for. That's the word I'm looking for. Peacock. So yeah, a peacock color. So pretty. I have worn this one quite a bit, actually. Um, this one is kind of like a gunmetal but it's like silver with, it's like a gunmetal with like silver um, glitter in it. So, so pretty. I love it. And then this one I probably should wear more because it is gorgeous, but it is a red metallic looking color. Oh, so pretty. I really wish these had names, guys. I'm sorry about that. I will see if I can find names for these, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> and our last row this okay so elf came out with like this like circle like nail polish thing it had all these nail polishes in it they were like stacked it was like a holiday kit so i don't think any of these these might not have names on them oh they do but it's really tiny so this is just like um another one of those like plain neutral it was a very pretty neutral palette um i believe i got it as a christmas gift i'm not sure but elf is cruelty free this color is metallic elegance and it's just a pretty, just neutral, pinky, nude color. And this one I really like. Another red one. It kind of reminds me of some of the other reds I already have. But this one is called Ready or Not. Really pretty. I love e.l.f. products. Another very neutral, like, if you're staying within the neutrals, this is the next one up. So this one is called Nude. <laughs> so Nude. Uh, nude is probably the color I've been trying to say this whole time instead of neutral. But anyway, this one I need to shake up. Um, I've shaken it before. Ugh. Yeah, it's not orange. Um, it just needs to be shaken pretty hard. Um, but it is called Taupe of the World. And it's, as you can see from the top, it's a taupey color. But it needs to be shaken quite a bit because I can't get that to, to mix very well so anyway moving on this is a really pretty purple 
really pretty purple. And it is called Violet Velvet. Yeah, it's what it looks like. It looks like a very royal purple. I love it. I have used this one quite a few times. This one is called Glamour Girl. And it's just a very pretty gold color. It's really, really, really pretty holiday color. This one is just a very chunky holiday glitter called Chic Confetti. And it's just Christmas confetti. It's a it looks like it's a clear, yeah, it's clear with green, silver, and red glitter reflex inside. So pretty. And then this one I have used quite a bit. Um, it is a just a chunky gold glitter called Gold Star. So that was from the Elf like holiday collection. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I want to say there were ten, and I may have given like a couple away. Maybe there were twelve. I don't remember. Um, this little set right here probably has no names on it at all. No, it doesn't. Um, again, I think this came with um, this or something similar to it um, for nail art. So it just has a, a neon green, an orange, a purple, and a black. It's very Halloween-y. I think I bought it for, um, I think it had some like little nail decals and stuff, which I have a ton of those. And then this last section over here is my Nina Ultra Pro. Again, I got these from Sally Beauty Supply. And a lot of these are really old. Like I think this is like one of my newest, and then this is the new bottle. So obviously these are all old, and I believe this one, can be moved over here because it's newer um anyway so these are all old and the i know that a lot of them don't have names on them because they've been rubbed off so but this one is newer it is a neon pink and it is called punky pink and again like i said i was doing some kind of like neon orange and pink thing i think i wanted for the summer and so yeah i just kind of snatched up a bunch of those then we have our obviously our black this one is a good um, black one. I don't really reach for this one. I tend to reach for the Sally Hansen uh, gel one because I really like the black. So anyway, back down here, this one is called Luminous Lavender and it is this really pretty like opalescent lavender color. Oh, it is really, really pretty. And that one again has been, is pretty old. <laughs> this one is called Orange Flame. It's just a neon orange. I was really big into like neons, obviously, with this neon green, which uh, has been rubbed off. I don't know what it says. Uh, yeah, don't know. It's a neon green, as you can see. It's still Nina Ultra Pro. I know that though, um, but it is uh, rubbed off. This one has also been rubbed off, but it is a really pretty like bright red and it's very orangey it's like an orangey red and then this one is another blue based red and this one is called i believe that says cranberry i'm not sure yeah i think it's cranberry and that would be pretty much how you would describe it cranberry <laughs> and then i have this little box right here which i'm gonna go sit down and then i will show you each of those um individually because they're so little all right, so here are all the little ones that I've got. And these are all little Sally, um, these are all Sally Girl. And so when I used to work at Sally Beauty Supply, they used to have them. I think they've changed the bottle since then. I think they're, they might be a little bit bigger. I'm not sure. But anyway, this one is It's So You. And it's like a light purple, maybe a lavender with like a aqua shift. Oh, it's really, really pretty. So then I have this blue really pretty royal blue it's called peel for ingredients that's not its name <laughs> it's already come off the bottom I don't know what color this is but really pretty blue this one I love this one this one is so so pretty it is like um I don't even know maybe like an opal color and then it has this pretty look at that color that shift in there oh this one is called champagne kisses very pretty color i have used this one quite a bit as you can see where it's sitting at in the bottle next i think this is just like a glow in the dark uh no this is a matte top coat all right this one is a very pretty glitter it is called missing the label all right don't know the name of this one but it is like a, a light pink color with different color hollow in there Next, we have 
this pink color called Wannabe. And it's just a really pretty sparkly pink. And I think I have another one of Wannabe in here. Nope. This is Firecracker. Very similar, but it's more of a red color. But it's called Firecracker. Mm, look at that. This one is also rubbed off, but it is another pretty pinky purple with glitter. I have a lot of glitter polishes in here. And then this one, another glitter. Let's see if you can focus. Focus, thank you. This one is too cool. <laughs> this one's like a purple with some silver glitter in there. Oh, so pretty. And I believe these guys are just, um, yeah, these are just the same. These are Too Tough Nail Hardener. That's what they're called. Too Tough Nail Hardener. This one, I believe, is a glow in the dark or, no, it's another matte top coat. So I've got two matte top coats and two um, regular ones. This one might be the, yeah, this is the glow in the dark one. This says, You Glow Girl. So this is my glow in the dark Sally one. And then I have this neon orange called Amped. I believe these are the same one right here. It's called Back Off. Yeah, I've got two Back Off, which is a neon pink. This one is like a fuchsia, and it's called Wicked. I don't know the name of this one, but it is really pretty. <laughs> is this the same color? No, I don't know. This one is naughty. Very pretty. I think I already have this color. Uh, nope. Fab. This one kind of reminds me of the Mac Bad Fairy. This one is like a lavender with like a pinky shift in it. It's called Sweet Tooth. silver one. This one is called... It's missing the label, but it's just a silver. Alright, this one is sassy. So sassy. It's a sassy color, too. <laughs> this one is... I wonder if it's another AM. No, this is type A. It's an orange one, but it's not like the neon orange one. This one is fat, P-H-A-T, like pretty hot and tempting, fat. Really pretty. This one doesn't have a name anymore, but it's a really pretty, really pretty one. It kind of reminds me of um, one of the Orly ones I showed earlier. So pretty. And then this one is just pretty purple that doesn't have a name anymore. <laughs> A lot of these, like I said, are really old, guys. Like, really old. And they still, like, they hold up. You know, this one doesn't look very good, but a lot of them do. Alright, this one is Behave. I think we already did this one. Did I already do this one? I'm not sure, but really pretty, pretty really, really pretty color. And, oh, here's the, here's the repeat. I knew I had a repeat in there of Behave. And just plain old black. It's called Poser. <laughs> just a black. Alright, and the last two are Scandalous, which is like a purpley with some reflex in there. And then this really pretty turquoise with glitter. And this one is called Dumped. <laughs> So that's it guys for my polish collection. Hope you enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye.